Stone and St. Paul. Madam Speaker, the newly released audio recordings of the RCMP Commissioner confirms that the Minister pressured the Commissioner to release sensitive information about the ongoing investigation into the worst mass killing in our history. Wow. By requesting this information be released to further the Liberal political agenda, the Minister politically interfered in the RCMP investigation and he misled a parliamentary committee about it. For this, the Minister must resign. Will he resign today? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Madam Speaker, I will, I will restate this really important principle because I think it's worth repeating, that in our democratic uh, pr uh, part of the uh, system, politicians do not interfere in police operations or police investigations. At no point did our government instruct anyone to release any information because we would never violate the sacrosanct principle of, of, of interfering in a police investigation or police operation, as was the case in this circumstance. The Honourable Member for Kildon and St. Paul. The former Minister of Public Safety misled a parliamentary committee on the record, Madam Speaker. He wow. said he was not aware the Commissioner would release sensitive information, and he said he never asked her to reveal that information. But both claims are now proven to be completely misleading with the new audio recording. Worse yet, the Minister knew the release of this information would jeopardize the investigation into the worst mass killing in Canadian history. And this was all for Liberal political gain, Madam Speaker. Speaker. He must resign today. Will he resign? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Madam Speaker, at no point did our government attempt to direct or, or otherwise interfere the police operations that was taking place in that tragic incident uh, that took place in Nova Scotia. And let me, let me re-quote uh, what the Commissioner said in a parliamentary committee on July 25th of this year. She stated, Speaker, let me be clear, I did not interfere in the investigation, I did not receive direction, and I was not influenced by government officials regarding the public release of information, and more importantly, on the direction of the investigation. I ensured that operational independence... The Honourable Member for Thornhill. Commissioner Lucky told the Nova Scotia RCMP that she wanted the details of the makes and the models of the weapons used in Canada's most deadly mass shooting released. Why? Because the minister pressured her to do so. We know they spoke about it. He knew it would jeopardize the investigation. But the minister had legislation coming, and this was part of a communications exercise for him. It was not about the investigation, the victims, or public safety. He played politics with a mass shooting investigation. What time today? Day, will he resign? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Madam, Madam Speaker, the independence of police operations is a key principle in our democracy and, and one that our government deeply respects. At no time, at no time did our government attempt to interfere in police operations. That has never taken place. It's a sacrosanct principle of our democracy and we'll always we'll live by it. The Honourable Member for Thornhill. Madam Speaker, in an accountable of an RCMP commissioner working with a minister to cover up the politicization of the biggest mass killing in Canadian history would result in immediate resignation. Not only did the minister mislead the House about knowing what we've all heard on tape, the minister was advised that releasing this information would jeopardize the investigation, and he asked for it to be done anyway. He put politics above the safety of Canadians and then covered it up. So what time today will he resign? Parliamentary Secretary. Speaker, what happened in, in Nova Scotia by way of that mass, uh, uh, mass shooting is an absolute tragedy. Innocent people lost their lives. Our focus has been to ensure that through, through this inquiry, through the... Can we listen to the answers the same way we listen to the questions, please? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Our focus, Madam Speaker, has been to, through the inquiry to make sure that, that we learn the lessons from uh, how to prevent such mass shootings ever to take place in any part of Canada. That investigation was led by the RCMP. The government did not interfere in that investigation but because that is a fundamental principle of our democracy. Politicians do not interfere with political op police operations.